Okay. Hello. For my action project, I had the opportunity to visit the great campus of Charlotte Rescue Mission. Charlotte Rescue Mission is an addiction recovery agency here in Charlotte, North Carolina. They have two campuses one for the men and then another campus for the women and children. I decided to do addiction recovery because there is a, um, a need for more awareness for addiction recovery. Sometimes individuals are thrown into jail um, for possession of drugs or if they get caught with any type of drug when they actually need a rehabilitation effort okay, study stop. involves a combination of two or more disciplines. I decided that addiction recovery plays into interdisciplinary studies because it ties into the sociology, mental health, and psychology of an individual as well. Start. Okay, stop. Start. From my experience spent at the Rebound location and also the Dove's Nest location, it was a very humbling experience. I myself could never say that this could never be me that's placed in a situation like this. Um, some people look at the agency and assume um, Charlotte Rescue Mission is an agency for pets or animals, but we're actually doing way more um, for society itself. Um, Charlotte Rescue Mission allows people to dust their shoulders off, dust off their knees, and to actually have a second, third, or fourth chance at life again. Stop. Keep going? Yeah. Community Matters Cafe is a part of Charlotte Rescue Mission. Charlotte Rescue Mission allows the residents to go through a 120-day program. After they graduate from the 120-day program, they do have the opportunity to come get life skills and to get acclimated with working again here at the Community Matters Cafe. They are, um, it is an additional program, a life skills program, where they're able to work, get hands-on. For some, have, for some, they have not worked in years, and for some, they may have never held a job before. This helps them to get back with their people skills, um, their salutations, just everyday life habits that they may or may not have forgotten. And it has a fair amount of African Americans, Caucasians, Native Americans, male, female, all age ranges from 18 all the way up to 60, 65 years old educational backgrounds. Some people have had the opportunity to graduate from high school. Some people have not. Some people actually have degrees, associates, bachelors, even master's degree programs. Again, because addiction recovery has no certain type of person that it can hit. It can literally strike anyone. Hit pause. Charlotte Rescue Mission does accept outside donations. For the men's facility, they are always accepting of underwear, socks, t-shirts, um, shoes, um, apparel also because um, part of the program assists the men with resume building and interviewing skills as well. So they have the opportunity to put on a button-up shirt with a tie also. Same thing for the female facility, they accept their donations as well and have a um, giving closet or a boutique is what they call it where the women and children are able to come through and to pick out nice clean clothes um, also they have many donations right now it is the time for the holidays so they are also collecting Thanksgiving turkeys as well as other meal items uh. Charlotte Rescue Mission does accept outside donations for the men's facility they are always accepting of underwear, socks, t-shirts, um, shoes, um, apparel also because um, part of the program assists the men with resume building and interviewing skills as well. So they have the opportunity to put on a button-up shirt with a tie also. Same thing for the female facility. They accept their donations as well and have a um, 
giving closet or a boutique is what they call it where the women and children are able to come through and to pick out nice clean clothes um, also they have many donations right now it is the time for the holidays so they are also collecting Thanksgiving turkeys as well as other meal items it also ties into Charlotte Rescue Mission because here at the cafe as well as at both locations the individuals and residents are able to build on their confidence Many of them have stumbled several times to the point of not even wanting to face home, but at least here they get a new walk of life. Just as I mentioned, the residents that I had spoken with, unfortunately, again, I'm not able to provide their names, but the individual that said that he had literally been on the run for about 35 years, he had a chance to actually stop catch his breath and to actually look himself in the mirror to realize that his addiction was not him.